Uh, today, families will be able to return to a park in North Arlington that has been closed since last week after three coyote bites. Parkway Central Park is reopening days after the animal attacked three children. According to them, that animal was captured but tested negative for rabies. NBC 5's Lana Quillen is live from the park this morning with the very latest. The city leaders are still warning people to be careful, Alana. They are, and the city still plans to reopen the park today, but if you look behind me, you can see the barricades are still there. A warning sign is in place. Uh, obviously, since city staff were all out for the holiday yesterday, that has yet to be removed. Although, even though the park is reopening today, officials still want families to be on alert. Coyotes are everywhere. Um, it's not just in this park. They're all over the state. They're in all main cities. Urban coyotes are really a thing now. <laughs> Um, so please always be aware of your surroundings. Now this is video of the park on Monday just after sunrise, totally empty on the holiday, not even a coyote. We didn't see any police. Now Arlington's Animal Services says other coyotes observed around this park did not display any concerning behavior that would deem them a threat. We're told they're still monitoring this area. They're still checking citizen reports for aggressive animals in case more coyotes need to be removed. Now the one captured last week was humanely euthanized and sent to the state for further testing. For now, officials are reminding residents we are in the the peak of coyote mating season and no matter where you live there's things we all can do to prevent any problems keep your pets on a six foot leash that way you have them close by keep trash put up you know don't leave bags of trash out keep them in containers um, and uh, carry a walking stick uh, air horn something like that to deter if you do have an encounter and if that does happen, experts say do not turn and run. Keep eye contact and back up slowly. Make loud noises, throw rocks, use a stick to keep that distance, and then report the incident as soon as possible. Now back out here live again, we'll keep an eye out as soon as they take these barricades down. But we're told coyote sightings in this park are pretty common, although Animal Services says to their knowledge, these attacks are the first time this has happened in the city's history. Hopefully, it'll be the last. We'll bring live in Arlington, Alana Quillen, NBC5. Alana